This video is going to show you how to use Naviance in your college application process. We'll show you how to add colleges to your Colleges I'm Applying To tab, as well as how to request transcripts for each college. Likewise, we will show you how to match your Common Application to your Naviance account so you can request transcripts for those colleges as well. So here I am in my Naviance account, and I'm going to go to my Colleges I'm Applying To. Colleges I'm applying to is where you will add each and every college to which you are sending an application, and it's here that you can request transcripts to be sent to those colleges. Now, later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to match your Common Application to your Naviance account if you are using a Common Application to apply to a school. But if you are using a website application for the college, you're going to simply come here and click on this red plus button. Next, you're going to start by searching for the college that you're looking for, and I'm going to be looking for Indiana State University. So I'm going to find that college and click on it. Here it's going to show me the different types of admission decision dates that they have. Now, this app type does not have any bearing on the actual decision date to which you are applying to. It is really just for your benefit and also so that your counselor can see what deadline you need to have or what deadline the college has for sending transcripts and getting your application completed. Next, it's going to ask how you're going to submit your application. Now, this college, Indiana State, only has a website application. They don't use the Coalition app, they don't use the Common app, so it's already pre-populated for you. Finally, there's a checkbox here to say if you have submitted your application. You should really only add a college here once you have submitted your application. So go ahead and click on that, and then add and request transcript. On the next screen in step two, it's gonna ask you what type of transcript you're requesting. This will be your first transcript to be sent to this college since you are just now applying, so go ahead and click on Initial. Later on in the school year, once you've graduated, that's when we send your final transcripts, so that won't be until June. So don't worry about that now, just go ahead and click on the Initial Transcript. And the next button, it's going to ask whether or not you want to send official, unofficial SAT or ACT scores. Those scores are already on your transcript, and so you don't need to worry about that. Now, even though your scores are on your transcript, some colleges want your test scores to be sent directly from the testing agencies. So make sure you are going into either your College Board account or your ACT account in order to send those test scores directly to the college. Next, it's gonna ask where you are sending your transcripts. Double check that it's the right college. Click Request and Finish. So now you'll see that Indiana State University has been added to my list of colleges I'm applying to. It's going to have that decision date. Then under the transcripts column, it's going to show that it's been requested. Over here, you'll see that your application has been submitted. Now, this is a really important key factor. In order for your counselor to be able to see your transcript request in their queue, it must show that the transcript has been requested and that your application has been submitted. If you forget either of those steps, it is not going to end up in their queue for the transcript request. So make sure that the transcripts are marked requested, the application is marked submitted, and that's it. Now that you've done everything properly in your colleges I'm applying to, the next thing you should be looking for is when your counselor sends your transcripts. Once your counselor has sent your transcript in this office materials, you will see it says initial materials submitted, and under transcripts, it will be marked sent. So that is how you'll know your counselors have sent your transcripts. Now, every now and then something doesn't click right and it may still show transcripts requested or office materials pending. If it's been a few days or a week and your transcripts still have not been marked as sent, maybe check in with your counselor just to make sure that everything is in good to go order. Sometimes things happen and there are glitches, but just double check. Next, I'm gonna show you how to match your common app to your Naviance account so that any of those colleges that you are applying to through the Common Application can get added to your Colleges I'm Applying To tab and so that you can request those transcripts. So here I am in my Common App account. You can see all the tabs at the top and that I'm at the very start of my dashboard. Now in order to be able to match your Common App to your Naviance account, there are a couple of things that you first must do. First in the Common App, Make sure that all of your personal information is correct, including your birth date, because that is a key component to matching your Naviance to your Common App. 
Next, you need to go to education and you need to enter in your current high school. So just make sure that you've added Westfield High School, that it is the correct school. Occasionally, students search Westfield High School and find the one that's in New Jersey, and that is the wrong one. So just double check to make sure that you have entered in the correct high school. You have to have your high school listed here in order for your Common App to be linked to your Naviance account. Next, you need at least one college in your My Colleges tab. I haven't add any added any colleges yet, so I'm going to go to my College Search tab. Here I'm going to search for my college, and it's going to show here. Now, if you open that up, if you click on that title, you'll see a lot of information about that college. So there are some really good things here to look for. Again, those application deadlines, whether it's early decision, which is, an, which is a binding decision, or early action, which is non-binding your application fees, and then what is required and recommended for this application, including whether or not the Common App Personal Essay is required. Once you've chosen your college, go ahead and click Add to My Colleges. Scroll back up to your tabs, and you'll go back over to My Colleges, and there is my University DePaul. So I'm going to click on the arrow, and you're going to see a couple different things. Now, Obviously, for submitting your application, there are a lot of things that you need to, to fill out within the Common App. All of these sections need to be completed, and then in the My Colleges, questions need to be completed, and then eventually you will review and submit your Common App. We'll have another tutorial on the Common Application later, but right now we just want to match our Naviance to our Common App. So what I need to do is go to Recommenders and FERPA. Now keep in mind, you only need to sign your FERPA waiver one time, and this is where you do it. What is FERPA? FERPA is the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act, which keeps your personal information confidential. However, some information needs to be shared, things like your transcripts, your test scores, that sort of thing. So here's where you release that information to the colleges and allow your counselors to send that information. So you're gonna go ahead and complete the release authorization. It's going, to exact, it's going to show you exactly what FERPA does. You scroll down here and say, I have read and understood my FERPA release. Continue. I acknowledge that every school that I have attended may release all requested records and recommendations to colleges for which I'm applying. Yep. So I'm going to check that. And then down here, you either waive your right to review all recommendations or you do not waive your right. Either way is fine, but to waive your right means that you understand that your counselors are always going to have your best interest in mind and that we're going to share positive information with them. Either way, again, is absolutely fine. So I'm just going to show, or I'm just going to go ahead and select, I waive my rights. Finally, I understand that whatever I choose here applies to each and every college. And then I'm going to sign here. Mark the date. Yeah. And save and close. Now I have completed my FERPA recommendation. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to my Naviance account and match my Naviance to my Common App. All right, so up here, I'm going to go ahead and match that account. It's going to ask you some general information, but most importantly, you need to use the email address that you have used to create your Common App. Your date of birth needs to be correct, and then you match accounts. Okay, so now you'll see that DePaul is listed there. That any colleges that are already in your Common App are going to auto-populate here in your colleges I'm applying to. However, it is not going to have a transcript request, and it is not going to say that it has been submitted. It will not show either one of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to request transcripts. Again, I'm going to say it's initial because I want to make sure that I'm sending my first, first transcript ever to this college. Then I'm going to pull the drop down menu. And it's going to show actually all of my colleges, but the only one that I still need to request a transcript for is DePaul, and I'm going to click Done. Request and finish. 
and then I'm going to come back here into my colleges I'm applying to and I'm going to note that everything um, has been marked as requested there. So my transcripts are requested. Now once my application is done, that's when I go in with this edit button. And I'm going to mark my application as submitted. I'm going to go ahead and change my application type. It did not ask that in my um, common app just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it as early action December 1st because I don't want to be early decision just yet. And I'm going to save that college application. And now you're going to see that deposit information has been updated. So now my transcript has been requested, my decision deadline is there, and my application has been submitted. So now my counselor is ready to submit that transcript and everything should be good to go. And finally, there's one more thing I want to show you here in colleges I'm applying to, and it pertains to this submission type. So again, you can see the ways that I have applied to these different colleges. To Indiana State University, they do not accept the common application, so that monitor is blank. It has nothing inside it. To Butler, they accept the common application, but I chose to use their website application. So the CA, which stands for common app, is crossed through. Here for DePauw, since I went ahead and completed that through the common application, it's already marked common app there. Sometimes though, maybe you've forgotten to mark that. And what it will look like is it will have a question mark there. You need to make sure that nothing has a question mark in, in any college within Naviance Colleges I'm applying to. So if you have a question mark there, that shows your counselor that you haven't marked anything, whether you've chosen common application or direct to institution. This does have bearing on what we do when we send counselor forms and transcripts. So you have to go back in and click the edit button and you have to show which way you've submitted your application. Is it through the common app or is it direct to institution? Again, for mine specifically, it was, it was via common app. So I'm gonna click on that, save college application and I'm all set. So again, your boxes here for submission type either need to be blank, have a CA in them, or have the CA scrolled or crossed through, meaning that you're sending it direct to institution. If there is a question mark there, you need to make sure that you have changed that and gotten that all changed and ready to go so that we can send the appropriate materials. Now later on, when you are getting admission decisions, you can again go in with that edit button, and then you can mark what decision has been made. So go under result, hopefully it's been an acceptance. There are also options of withdrawing your application if you've chosen not to complete your application there or incomplete, um, whether or not you've been denied and then even waitlist or waitlisted or deferred. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that I've been accepted here, save that. And then I'm gonna see that as well under the application here. Eventually, towards the end of the school year, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna mark which college you're actually attending. What that does is that shows us as your counselors, which college needs your final transcripts. In order for you to be able to enroll in your college of choice, you absolutely must have a final transcript sent and that's how we know where to do it. So that's how you request your transcripts. That's how you match your common app to your Naviance account and all of that good information. If you have any other questions, just be sure that you are asking your counselor here in the Counseling Center. Thanks and have a great day.